before he started, launched his public ministry, uh, uh, Scripture says Jesus, it says in, in the translation in most of the English Bibles, it says Jesus was led into the desert by the Spirit. The Spirit led him into the desert. Terrible translation. The real translation is the Spirit drove him into the desert. Uh, the word, the Greek word, ekbaline, it, it's a verb, very strong verb, and it, it's almost like um, you would uh, hurl a ball, throw a baseball. It's that verb. He was hurled into the desert by the power of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit we've been given is no cowardly spirit. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will hurl you into things that you think you're not ready for. Well, Jesus was ready. There's no question about that. But that's the word. He was driven into the desert by the power of the Spirit. And when he finished that 40 days in the desert, he came and he began his public ministry. And do you remember how Jesus began? You remember the words that Jesus used to launch his public ministry is what I'm going to launch this talk with right now. Repent and believe in the gospel. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So Jesus began his ministry that way. Repent, reform. Change your life. Uh, don't be an ugly old caterpillar. Be transformed in the renewal of your mind into that beautiful butterfly that has wings to rise up on the breath of the Holy Spirit and fly with the angels. You are not meant to grovel in the earth. You are meant to transcend all that, to fly, to rise on the wings of faith and to become great with the greatness of Jesus Christ. That's what you are called to. And anything less than that is beneath you. So do not be dragged down by something that is much lower than what you are called to. It is not good enough to be a good old boy. It's not good enough just to be a nice guy or a nice lady. That's a good start, but not good enough. You are called to holiness. Jesus said, you must be perfected as your heavenly Father is perfect. Now, that is not an option. That is a mandate. That is a divine mandate. Who's talking? Jesus is talking. Jesus is Lord. He is a divine person. God's speaking to us. You must be perfected. One translation uses the word perfected. The other one says perfect. Two different versions. I like the one that says you must be perfected. That gives me hope. <laughs> if I have to already be there, I get nervous. I'm not. You must be perfected. In other words, we're on the way. We haven't yet arrived. We have time. We're working on it. We are working, work in progress, you know. God's working on us. He's not finished with us yet. The man or woman who follows Jesus Christ, remember, he's not only true God, he's true man. When you follow Jesus, the perfect human being, you yourself become more human. As the world, as our country, followed Jesus, we became more human. In my lifetime, as we have ceased to follow Jesus, as we have evicted him from our schools, our places of business, our homes even, as we have evicted Jesus, we have dehumanized society. As we have thrown Jesus out, our society has become neo-pagan. We have a death wish. Immorality is un-American, and it is a threat, a terrible, vicious threat to national security. You don't believe me? Keep it up, America. Keep it up. God helps his friends, not his enemies. He'll slap us silly. And you don't think he'll do it? I'll guarantee you he'll do it. He will do it. And so what, what am I saying as Lent is about to begin? I'm saying what Jesus says. I'm not saying anything different 
The servant is no different than his master. Jesus said, I am the master, you are the servant. Where I am there, my servant will be. He preached the truth. We got to be about the truth, about our father's business. He said, where I am there, my servant will be. Take a look, there he is. On a cross, I must be lifted up in order to draw all men to myself. Now, you live the truth in season and out of season. You boldly proclaim it. Demand it of your family. Don't be intimidated or afraid. Don't, don't be pushy about it. Don't have a chip on your shoulder. Don't be picking fights. But quietly, strongly, you live your faith, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Where I am there, my servant will be. You'll be on a cross, all right. You will be on a cross, I guarantee you, but you need to be. No pain, no gain, no cross, no crown. And don't ever forget it, because that's where the power is. And Jesus says what all the prophets said before him. Jeremiah said it. The kingdom of God is at hand, therefore repent. Repent. All the prophets had that essential message. The one who immediately went before Jesus, St. John the Baptist, my patron saint, he said it. What did St. John the Baptist say? Same exact thing. You check it out. Matthew 3, 2. St. John the Baptist preached in the wilderness. And what did he say? He said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And then Jesus said the exact same thing. You can check it out in Matthew 4, 17 for a star. That's the message. What is our message? Same as the master.